HPE Morpheus Godfather Calvin Zito here, back with another Q&A style video to talk about more of what we're doing with HPE Morpheus VM Essentials and where it's getting integrated. Today I've got a conversation with Broth Ram. Uh, why don't you tell everybody what you do here at HPE and we'll jump into the conversation. Thank you, Calvin. Uh, nice to be with you again. Um, yeah, my name is Bharat Ram. I lead uh, the, I'm director of product management. I lead the team for uh, Private Cloud Business Edition, uh, which is our flagship product for Private Cloud, as well as uh, the new uh, product that we launched end of last year, which is the HP Morpheus VM Essential software. What I want to focus on first is what's new. I, I know one of the things, obviously, the reasons I wanted to talk to you is because we've integrated um, VM Essentials into Private Cloud Business Edition, but I know there's other things. So why don't you summarize what you guys announced at Discover around uh, Private Cloud Business Edition? Yeah, I mean, it, it was an exciting Discover this year. Uh, the energy was palpable, a lot of interest in, in what we had announced in the market and what we'd be doing. Uh, so a couple of things, you know, as I said, uh, we've had a uh, private cloud business edition in the market for a while. You know, it was uh, it, it basically is the disaggregated uh, three-tier architecture that we present. But the, the nature of three-tier architecture is complex to manage, right? You need independent um, experts to manage each of those stack components. Uh, what we do with the private club business edition is to kind of simplify those management. Now, what we've done is we've done two additional advancements in those capabilities. We now support uh, the Electra uh, storage block uh, uh, B10,000 arrays, uh, which now, you know, gets us into the high-end enterprise space where, you know, customers are looking for 100% data availability guarantees and so forth. Um, so it's, I think that's a great addition to our portfolio and the, all the automation and goodness that you had with PCB with the Electra 6000s and 5000s also apply to the Electra MP storage arrays, right? And as you mentioned, the second big announcement is our integration of HP Morpheus VM Essential software as part of the private cloud stack. Now, you know, you don't have to worry about, as I mentioned, day zero, day one operations around setting up the virtualization stack. We take care of that, right? Uh, right from in, in shipping things around the hypervisor, KVM, the uh, Linux kernel that gets shipped with it. Um, so you don't have to figure out, you know, what compatibility you need to download and so forth. Uh, we automate and make that process simplify, right? Um, so those are those are great announcements that we did at Discover this year. Um, we see a lot of traction with customers who are especially trying to look for an alternative virtualization choice point here. So this question might be pushing you into talking about futures because I, I don't know if it's a future or if it's something you've already done. But I know one of the things we're doing is using um, part of that uh, Morpheus VM Essentials uh, control plane to actually become the control plane in a lot of our private cloud solutions. Is, is that already happening? Is it parts of it? Or what, what, what's the story around using um, that as a control plane? Yeah, I mean, as, as we all know, we acquired Morpheus towards the end of last year, and we've started integrating Morpheus across the board in various private cloud products, right? And PCB is no exception to that. Uh, we see a lot of value that Morpheus brings into the table for, uh, for private cloud business edition customers too. And the first part of that is to getting VM Essentials, which is an integral part of Morpheus as well, um, into uh, PCB, which we've already done. Uh, the second piece is, you know, there's always a, or, uh, you know, for certain customers, they need hybrid cloud capabilities or, or bringing in infrastructure as a code uh, automation along with that. That's where, you know, the morph power of Morpheus comes into play. So what we're trying to achieve is, you know, kind of bring a lot of these uh, capabilities that Private Cloud Business Edition brings and then marry it with what Morpheus brings to the table. Thereby, you now have a single pane of glass that provides you automation both for infrastructure and workloads, right? And at the same time, you know, we feel the the world is going to be hybrid, not just in terms of private and public cloud, but also in terms of your hypervisors or your container technology that you're using. So I think Morpheus provides a great value in terms of that cloud management platform, right? So it's a great opportunity for us to bring in the goodness of PCBE along with what Morpheus brings and, and kind of provided that to our customers. What response were you hearing from customers that uh, you talked to? Yeah, I mean, I think the biggest driver right now is two things, right? I mean, you cannot move everything to the public cloud. There's always, as I said, going to be a hybrid mix. Uh, there's a lot of applications that is still required to be running on-prem for different reasons, sovereignty, compliance, and so forth. Um, and PCB offers the, the scale 
I mean, you can, it's disaggregated nature, so you can kind of grow, compute, and storage independently. There's a lot of TCO savings that comes because of the disaggregated architecture. Um, so, you know, it's easier for, for customers to manage, easier for them to scale. Uh, but at the same thing, there's a lot of uh, interest coming in because of our support for VM essentials, right? I mean, customers are looking for alternatives, uh, trying to have a hybrid multi uh, runtime environment. So the beauty about PCB with VM essentials is now that you can have two distinctive hypervisors being managed from a single pane of glass, right? And not only that, you can now leverage those two hypervisors to be running on the shared environment, meaning you can have the same Electra storage MP and then you can have two distinctive server clusters running VMware as well as VM Essentials, but managed from a single pane of glass. So which is very, very distinctive in what we provide. Let me give you one opportunity to give people any closing thoughts you have about you know, what's been happening here over the last few months. Yeah, uh, I think we are in a, in a, in a terrific uh, inflection point right now, right? Um, as we try to simplify private cloud adoption for our customers, as well as, you know, providing them alternative choice points for virtualization. Uh, my recommendation for customers and partners is, you know, there's a tool called Cloud Physics, uh, which does assessments. You know, there's a great time for you to run that right now because it kind of gives you uh, understanding of your virtualization space, what is required, what you, where do you need to trim your, uh, you know, your spending and your investments. And then, you know, try to look at uh, VM Essentials. You know, there is a My, HP My Software Center that allows you to download and take it for a spin. There is a 60-day trial period available. Um, so, you know, these are stuff that you, you guys can take advantage of, get a feeler and, and see if, uh, you know, the private club business edition with uh, HP Morpheus VM Essentials software is a, is, a, is a play for you in your environment, right? Um, so that's, that's what I would suggest. Great. Well, I appreciate having uh, a chance to talk to you and uh, seeing you at Discover. Thanks for giving us an update on what's going on around Private Cloud Business Edition. Likewise, Kevin. Looking forward for our next podcast together. Thank you. If you want to learn more, click this link on the bottom left to take you to the HPE.com page where there's a lot more content. If you want to learn more about HPE Morpheus VM Essentials, click on the playlist on the top left. And be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching this video.